the second victim of a school shooting in Washington State died last night. The gunman shot five students on Friday. One of them died at the scene. The 14-year-old boy then shot and killed himself. The other three victims remain in the hospital. Carter Edmonds is at Marysville Pilchuck High School, north of Seattle. Carter, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. School here will be closed all week as people here struggle to understand exactly what set off this teenage gunman. This morning, they're dealing with news of yet another death. Students and community leaders returned Sunday to Marysville Pilchuck High School to remember the victims of Friday's shooting, including 14-year-old Gia Soriano, who died of head injuries late Sunday night. A hospital spokesperson read a statement from her family. We've made the decision to donate Gia's organs so that others may benefit. Our daughter was loving and kind, and this gift honors her life. Those who knew the shooter and his victims are beginning to piece together the events that led to the deadly shooting in the school cafeteria. It appeared he wanted his closest friends at that lunch table that day. Yeah, I just don't understand what was going through his head that day. Paige Eicher was close friends with the 14-year-old gunman, Jalen Freiberg, and his five victims. But on Friday, she wasn't in the cafeteria when the shooting began. Do you think he wanted to take his friends with him? I honestly think that, like, if he wanted to do something to himself, he didn't want to go by himself. He wanted all his friends to go down with him. Freiberg opened fire at the table, shooting five of his friends in the head. Paige's best friend, Zoe Galasso, died at the scene. Four others were injured two of his cousins and two other girls, one of whom died last night. Could you have seen this coming? No, no, it was so out of the blue. A week earlier, Freiburg was elected homecoming prince, but he left ominous messages online. The day before the shooting, he tweeted, it won't last, it'll never last. Through his tweets and stuff, it just seemed not like himself. How are you dealing with this now? I'M JUST IN, LIKE, COMPLETE SHOCK. I JUST DOESN'T FEEL SO REAL TO ME. STUDENTS WHO WITNESSED THE ATTACK SAY IT COULD HAVE BEEN WORSE IF NOT FOR A QUICK-THINKING TEACHER, MEGAN SILBERBERGER, WHO CONFRONTED FREIBERG DURING THE CHAOS. I THINK HER, her ACTIONS WERE AMAZING, WONDERFUL. I'M GLAD SHE WAS THERE. SO the, THE STRAIGHT ANSWER IS YES. I THINK SHE'S PROBABLY SAVED SOME LIVES. POLICE AREN'T TALKING ABOUT HOW FREIBERG GOT THE GUN OR HIS MOTIVE FOR THE KILLINGS. But the shootings do come at a highly charged time politically here in Washington state as voters consider two gun control measures on the November ballot. Nora. All right, Carter, thank you so much.